with Mario Lopez. Joining me now on Zoom, two-time Grammy-winning artist and producer T-Pain. What's going on, man? How's it going, brother? What's going on? I'm good. I'm good. You look. Are you? Uh, are you in the studio right now? Your office. That's I'm cool. In the studio right now. I'm in the studio, man. Just you know, in between work, just getting it in. You know, up, up, and at him. I like it. I like it. Grinding away. Um, you've joined the TBS competition Go Big Show for season two. For those who may not be familiar, uh, how does this compare to other talent shows? Um, I tell you what, man, it's a lot more dangerous. I, I didn't know so much danger was going to be involved, and in, uh, lots of fire. More fire than I thought would be regulated inside of a building but it happens uh and you know with all the COVID restrictions and stuff we couldn't get too close to anybody but they would let us get super close to fire and yeah. knives and blocks of ice that were uh, it was it was a lot man I, I wasn't expecting I didn't know what to expect but I wasn't expecting that at all what well, pretty wild acts right like what, what are some of the things you've seen uh man acrobatics on, on motorcycles uh you know dudes breaking through ice uh, aerial acts, uh, people hanging by their hair. Uh, I got a knife thrown at me. I, I, I got to uh, hit somebody in the ball super hard, as hard as I could. That was pretty cool. Um, <laughs> it was just a lot, man. It was it was a good amount. I had a lot of had a lot of good acts on there, man. It was a bullfighter. Uh, it was wow. just a lot, man. Yeah, it was, it was crazy. How would you describe your style of judging? Uh, my style of judging, I think, I think I have a lot of compassion, but at the same time, it's like. You know, we got to be honest with ourselves here. If your act is whack and you're just going off a of shock value for like a couple seconds and it doesn't really require a lot of talent, then, you know, you got to get out of here. We got to get yeah. some people in here that have worked on their skills for years and not just somebody that's got a shock value real quick. You know what I'm saying? It's, 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 it's not a, not a, not a, a, a sideshow act. This is a, this is a, this is a whole skill based matchmaking type, type thing. So, you know, we, we, uh, we try to collaborate on our judgment, but when we're back there in the room making our judgments, I'm like, man, get this guy out of here. <laughs> so, I keep it real. Okay. Cool, but in front of the contestants, I'm a little more compassionate. <laughs> um, the other judges are Rosario Dawson, Jennifer uh -huh. Nunes, wrestler Cody Rhodes. That's an eclectic bunch right there. Who are you kicking with backstage? Um, Cody mostly. You know, uh, Cody and I live not too far from each other, and, you know, I go to his matches sometimes, and uh, yeah, I think we, I think we kick the most. We always, you know, text back and forth, stupid stuff. And I think, yeah, I think me and Cody are the closest hang for sure. You grapple with him yet? No, not going to do that. I'm definitely not stupid. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Fair enough. Uh, let's talk a little music, man. Latest single is I'm cool with that. Yeah. Uh, like a pretty laid back guy in real life. Is that the deal? And, yeah, it's pretty much the deal, man. Just kind of whatever goes, just go with the flow, man. I'm cool with that. You know, whatever happens, happens. I like Make that. It happen. I'm cool with that. Yeah, man. Uh, it was it was a special track because I did the whole thing live, like on Twitch. Uh, made the beat from scratch on Twitch in front of people, in front of thousands of people. Oh, wow. uh, recorded the song in front of thousands of people. Uh, get, employed other Twitch streamers to come on and and uh, play instruments on the song. So the whole thing was comprised on Twitch, and we put it out. And you know, even let some of the Twitch chat in the comments write the song with me. So it was a uh, it was it was a pretty well put together song just off of the internet. It was pretty cool. You also got a podcast, Nappy Boy Radio. Saw hi on IG. D did you really buy your boy a car? I did. I did. Uh, you know, loyalty helps, man. You know, especially when it's not deep rooted in, uh, you know, uh, 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 vulnerability or anything like that. When somebody really wants to be loyal to you and, and they're not just being loyal, just to say I'm loyal, that, you know, it, it, it shows. And it really, you know, it, it really shows the longevity and how, how long people can be around you without getting annoyed. Yeah, we've been friends, man, for 20 years. So, you know, it's about time I got him a car. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's oh, about that time. Lopez, I've known you for 10 now. Where's my car? <laughs> he said 20 years. Uh, <laughs> A lot, a lot of people saw that Netflix doc on auto tune. Uh, yeah. You and us are cool now. Oh yeah. We super good. We never not been cool. Like, you know what I'm saying? I've never had a problem with us. I never, even in that special, I never said, you know, us or sucks or anything like that. Right, right, right. <laughs> he just kind of trying to trigger something that was already happening in my yeah. mind. I know. Yeah. I've never had a problem with us. Just don't be calling Jason Derulo usher. He might throw hands. Oh, yeah. We're not doing that. Not doing that. That boy was throwing straight the haymakers right out the gate. <laughs> no, you wilded it out on that one. And I, you know what tripped me out about that? Like, like he called the usher someone cool. It wasn't like he called them like 
some whack ass dude. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, <laughs> like, that's a compliment. But she didn't call him Urkel. Right. Right. So when the video first came on, when the video first comes on, the guy next to the guy recorded said, yo, record this, record this. And then the guy that said, record this said, yo, Usher, fuck you, bitch. And then that's when Jason Derulo got <laughs> so, yeah. so it wasn't just like, yo, I thought you were Usher. It was just like, oh, right, 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 right. Yeah, but then you are Usher. Usher. Yeah, but the, <laughs> you know it wasn't for Jason. He wouldn't drop an Urkel bombs on him or something. That's what pretty- <laughs> <laughs> you know, he called himself a quad up and like, all right. Yeah, it was, but it was clearly already something happening before that video because the guy, right, 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 right. recorded, recorded, recorded. Yeah, yeah, no, I get you. Um, it's hard to believe, man. Your song with Flow Rider Low turns 15 this year. Was, yeah, was there a yeah, moment? 15 years old, 10 million sold worldwide? I think we're good. You are good, man. <laughs> is there a moment when you thought, oh, this is gonna pop? No, not at all, not at all. Um, I think when I got my first Disney check, I think that's when it was like, oh, okay, maybe we, I can keep this going. This is cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> it, was a, it was a couple of things about the song that really just kept it pushing. It kept going up and up and up. And I kept seeing it everywhere. And it kept going viral every couple of years. It would just go viral again. And I'm like, all right, let's keep this going. And then I got the Diamond Award for selling 10 million copies of that one song. Damn. Yeah, all right. I mean, at that point, that's when I was like, yeah, it popped. <laughs> A gift that keeps on giving. That's the best. Right. There, man. Uh, and you got uh you got three kids. How many kids you got? Yeah, yeah, yeah. How old are they? Uh 17, 15, 13. And what are they into right now? You you know what? I just don't even know. They just they they don't know. I keep asking them, what what's going on with you? What are you into right now? I know my daughter, the oldest, she's uh she's doing animation. Um, and she wants to design video games and stuff oh. like that. My uh, my oldest son, he just he's just like, man, just keep buying me backpacks. I'll put stuff in them. <laughs> That's it. Uh, my youngest son, I I don't know. He just wants to take stuff apart. <laughs> uh, it's just it's just find a screwdriver, find out where the screws are, take it apart, see what the inside looks like. I, look, that's how I started. See, that's how I started building computers and stuff like that. So there you go. Yeah, just don't leave, don't leave those parts on the ground because I don't walk right. around with shoes a lot. So exactly. <laughs> if he gets like enough cool step dad, on that. And I'm sure, I'm sure those kids uh have a good time with you right there. Well, congratulations yeah. on the show. Again, it's go big show Thursday yeah. on TBS. T Pain, thanks for hanging out, my man. Absolutely. Thank you, brother. On with Mario Lopez.